friends, myself Ketan Singh and we study English with Lama Michelle High Secondary School. And myself Veena Daswani, we both study in Grade 9. We have made a project that will change the field of agriculture. Its name is Info to Farm and it, the prototype name is Info to Kisan. So let's start by our innovation is different from the existing solution. Firstly, it provides a unified mobile platform for the target group. Secondly, voice and picture messages are made available to the illiterate farmers. Thirdly, user-based sensor value can be uploaded to the device via the satellite for advanced sensing and for the timely advice from the authorities. Fourthly, the team acts as a mediator between government and the target group. At last but not the least, it has a business or it has a business op option for IoT network over the India by placing the agricultural prototype name uh, in Photokisan. These devices can act as a in, these devices can act as a IoT gateways. So let's start with our prototype named as in Photokisan. So our prototype controller is known MCU. We have used various sensors and we have divided them in two categories. One is analog sensor and one is digital sensor. So let's start with the analog sensor. Firstly, we have a soil moisture sensor. If we want to know the moisture in the soil, we can use this sensor. Then, methane is a gas produced by the crops during their growth. So it is very important to know the methane concentration in air. So we have used a MQ4 or methane gas sensor. The sunlight is also a very important factor during the crop growth. So we have used a light intensity sensor which can give us the intensity of the light. Rain is also considered as an important factor during the crop growth. So we have also used a rainwater sensor. Here our prototype is working on a solar cell. So it is a place and forget configuration. You can place it anywhere and it will get charged. So now let's start with our digital sensor. We have used a DH11 sensor. It, it records the humidity which is an important factor during the crop growth. We have also used a BMP28 sensor. It records the temperature, pressure and altitude. Since we are getting the altitude value and we here we have placed a GPS sensor which can give us the latitude and longitudinal value of this particular place so we can pre predict precisely where our prototype has been kept. Considering all these sensors, we are getting 4 analog readings that are methane concentration in the atmosphere, intensity of light, soil moisture in the field and rain intensity. From the digital sensors, we are getting values such as latitudes, longitudes, temperature, pressure, altitude and humidity. Let's consider the power management of our device. We have installed a 5200 mAh battery for the backup purpose. It can run for more than one month even when there is no sunlight. We have also installed a USB charging port. It can be used for charging mobile phones as there is, uh, there is difficulty in getting power supply in the fields. We have also installed a I2C bus for installing mo 123 more sensors if we want to further upgrade this project. No one has ever tried to include the SOS feature in the field of agriculture. So it's a key feature of our device that we are including an SOS feature. Generally, in natural calamities like flood, earthquake, volcanic eruption, etc., the mobile network communication and power supply gets destroyed for the common man. So they can, so we have introduced this SOS message in our in our prototype so that the people who are trapped in these calamities can communicate with our using our mobile application with our module. So the module can communicate with the satellite and it can send the unique code of the device, the latitude and longitudinal extent and the SOS message along with the person's name. So the rescue team can reach there within a very short time and the people can be rescued. In our project we have used Raspberry Pi 3B as a the replica of the satellite. We have also given the provision for the LoRa modules. LoRa modules can communicate within a range of 10 to 100 kilometers using node-to-node -node communication. These modules can serve as a backbone for the IoT network and as a gateway and as a gateway for the IoT networks for future India. So let's consider the database of our module. So after collecting all these data, our module is sending this data to the ThinkSpeed database. Here we can plot the data in the graph forms, which makes it easy to compare and study the weather pattern and the crop growth. This help and and the latitude and the longitudinal locations are being sent to Firebase along with the unique ID and Aadhaar card number. 
start the demonstration of our pro of our prototype. So here we have USB I square C and for the this is the USB charging port. If we take it out, this is our switch. Initially we don't have any satellite or LoRa module, so we are just using a Wi-Fi network. Here you can see that this is the GeoPi and it is indicating that blue color showing that no network is connected to it. When I switch it on, all the, all, all the sensors get powered up and you can see that it changed to green color showing that it is connected to the Wi-Fi network and is sending value. It takes time for the GPS to get a signal so for 15 minutes. So initially we have given the default value of our location so it will show that value only. It collects all these values and sends it to the ThingSpeak. So let's see how our data is getting uploaded to the ThingSpeak database. So here you can see this is the interface of the ThingSpeak. We have made a channel named Node MCU Test. Here you can see that this channel was created 9 days ago and is updated just a minute ago. This shows that this data is getting updated with a real time value. If we go down, then we can see that the data which we get from the draw field is plotted in the graph, which makes it easy to which makes it easy to compare and study the weather pattern. Here you can see that the first graph is of rain intensity, which tells us the whether there was rain or not with a plot with a graph. Since I put it some water last time, you can see that the rain has intensity has increased to a great value. Second graph is of soil moisture. It is it includes, it predicts more how the amount of moisture present in the soil. Now we have also got a light intensity graph. You can see that it was updated just a minute ago and the light intensity was 21. With the chart for that is gas sensor, it was just uploaded, updated one minute ago and it also shows that the gas sensor is also more. We have also we also have temperature, atmospheric pressure, altitude, and humidity. They all work like the same. And you can see that altitude is 392.5265. This shows that we are above 392.5265 meter above the sea level. Here we are also storing the real time date and real, real time date and time in the GMT. So this is uh, about our things be now the latitude and longitude and extent there you can see I have predicted all the data which we got earlier so we are getting the latitude and longitude and the unique id in this uh, part based on it just we are resetting the equipment and we are waiting for the new data here you can see that we have got the default data that is our unique device code, latitude and longitude the purpose of SOS, we have created an uh, app named Antec SOS app in the Thunkeeple platform which is an Android platform. So here you can see I am sending an SOS message to database. Uh, my, I have specified my name, Aadhaar card number and SOS message. So when I am sending it, we have a fraction of a second it get uploaded. So here you can see that the data that he sent was came with the Aadhaar number this and we have so have a device ID that is CKM is 4850001 SDA01 His name is Neeram Daswari and the SOS message also help me and try to do Let's compare our prototype with the model which we made earlier. We have a prototype that we made earlier. So it is also placed in a 3D printed case. It is working on the same module that is Node MCU. But earlier we placed a battery of 2600 mAh and we had only two sensors that is one DHT11 and one light intensity sensor. It was also working on a, on a solar cell. So 
but let's compare it with this one so we have greatly increased the number of sensors here we have stacked two batteries and this can give up to 5200 milliampere power so we have also prepared a chart for it so let's see the chart so here you can see that we have different category and the prototype so for first category total sensor in our old prototype we had just two sensor but in our new prototype we have upgraded it to seven sensors and the then analog sensors. In the old prototype, we had just one analog sensor, but now we have four analog sensors in our new prototype. Then digital sensor. We have only in our old prototype we had only one digital sensor, but in our upgraded prototype we have three and digital sensors. Total data is collected. In the old prototype we were getting just three readings, but in our upgraded prototype we are getting eight plus two that is ten readings. We have it. We haven't attached any GPS models in our old prototype, but we have a GPS models in our upgraded prototype. Now, the main innovation that is I square C bus sensor, we have also attached it in our upgraded prototype. Now, uh, now the microcontroller is the same in the both the prototype that is not MCU. We have also used our multiplexing IC4051 due to the end capability of Node MCU when getting the analog readings. The major difference is the battery that we are getting. Earlier we had just a 2600 mAh battery but now we are using just a double amount that is 5200 mAh battery. Now we are also giving the facility to charge the mobile and, uh, and it can also act as an external source of power. Then we also have over the air framework upgradation. This is a very important part of our project. We can upgrade any of our, we can upgrade millions of our devices with just one click. It means there, is, there will be no need of any manpower. Okay. Then we also have the I square C protocol. That means in our old prototype we can't increase the sensors without doing any physical upgrade. But in our new prototype we can we can increase the sensors number up to 123 by using that I square C bus module. Now we also have the connection with the mobile application through our Bluetooth. We are also giving the satellite link. And earlier the design was made on a breadboard, but now we are using a GPP. We also have a Firebase database, but now we are also using the ThingSpeak, which helps us in visualizing the data in a graph form. They both are in a 3D printed case. Our new prototype is customizable. That means we can upgrade it whenever we want it. The solar charging module is uh, same and we also have added a boost converter to boost the power that the solar cell can get. So let's see how we can charge a mobile phone using our prototype. So here we have connected a USB to our prototype and if and here we have a mobile phone. And if we connect it to this mobile phone you can see that it is getting charged. For the collaborations with the companies, we, we have three plans. So our first plan is that we, are, we want to take a pilot run of thousands of these devices and get the data. We are, we are also going to install the LoRa modules in this, so we also have a side business plan for it. And this business plan is that it can form a backbone for the IoT networks. For this, we would like to collaborate with the tele with the Tata Telecom services since they are pioneer in this field. We would also like to collaborate with the Kisan Care government's Kisan Care centers so that we can provide appropriate information to the farmers. For Plan B, we wanted to send about ten satellites to the space uh, to communicate with all the devices on the ground. And for this, we would like to collaborate with ISRO. In the Plan C, we are uh, we are planning to send 60 satellites in the space which can which have the capability of capturing the f images of the field which would be very profitable in the agriculture department besides they will also collect the data from our ground units and send them to the database this project also has a business plan we can use these satellites for renting purposes and they can be given in rent for other space organizations and uh, makers like us who can use it for space exploration Besides, we would also like to collaborate with some te technical companies which would help us in improving our artificial intelligence and our applications. 